Hey guys, it's Brett Burns with Prepared Man. I want to talk to you a little bit about it's one of my favorite things to use in the field. Now, as you know, I'm a big fan of bucket packs. I use the medium Alice pack, Swiss engineer rucks, the ILB Gen 2. I got a custom canvas bag that Jason Hunt over at Campcraft Outfitters made for me. I use bucket packs. I even really enjoy a good pack basket in the field. Now, the good side of that is I can stuff all my gear in there. The bad side of that is all my small gear falls to the bottom. So things like flint and steel kits find their way down to the bottom. Now, one of those things that I've, I've learned to combat that with is pouches. And I use a lot of pouches to build sub kits within my bag. So first, I'd like to talk a little bit about that. I use a lot of different types of packs. I use custom bags that I've sewn up. I steal things from my wife like this pillow slip cover. Great way to cover some soft item. I love this thing. This is actually uh, currently out here because I'm using it as an LED soft light adapter. I use pre-made things as much as I can. Here's a Crown Royal bag. Even though I don't consume alcohol, this Crown Royal bag is something I didn't have to sew that I can slip all of my cook kits down in, like my Stanley Adventure cook set or a metal bottle or things of that nature, metal cups, my Tox titanium gear that really slip right down in there conveniently. It keeps the soot out of my bag, but it also keeps my kit organized. This is a great food bag as well. Now, with that being said, when I have all these small pouches, these may go in a pocket on my Alice pack. They may go in the lid on my ILBE. In my Swiss engineer ruck, they either fit in that front pocket or they're going to the bottom. In my pack basket, they're going to wind up in the bottom sooner or later. So what I did was a couple years ago, we went to a wilderness first aid course with Jason Hunt at Campcraft Outfitters. At that time, I purchased a couple of pouches from him and I started using those pouches within my bags. Now that actually led to a change in the way that I do things that I want to talk to you about here in just a moment. Now this is the Campcraft Outfitters kit bag. I use this bag for flat things because it's flat. It fits down in all of my packs. It'll either right on the side or down at the back. It's got a titanium stove in it, notebooks, silverware, my camp kitchen knife. It's a great little flat pack bag. I use it to keep my pencils in, all of my things that I take notes with. I like that little pouch. It's wax canvas, it's rough. It's got this big heavy duty loop on the top that I can either clip a carabiner on or use to pull out of my pack. I really like that wax canvas pack. In addition, I also have the accessory bag. And if I've mispronounced these names or I've, I've forgot these names, I'll correct it up here somewhere. The accessory bag actually is the best bag that I had up to this point. And what I like about it is it's flat on the bottom. So when I'm in camp, it sets like this. It becomes where all the stuff goes in my pack. I have a repair kit for air mattresses. I have my one inch roll of Gorilla Tape, compasses, headlamps, a beech leaf that I picked up somewhere, apparently, a uh, 55 gallon drum liner, pieces of fat wood, all of those little pieces, additional batteries, lighting, things like that go in here. But what I noticed, and this was the important part, when I found myself in camp, I used this pouch similar to how I use the ILBE pouch. When I get my camp set up, I detach the ILBE pouch it goes up next to my head at night and it becomes a catch-all. If I have my wallet with me, that's where my wallet goes, pistol, spare mag, flashlight, and it becomes a quick access pouch. This pouch sits flat on top and it's become my catch-all now for all those things. I throw them on top. The problem is there's already things living in here. I already have that Gorilla Tape in here and that light and it's quick access and it's great. It's got a robust zipper on the top. But what I found was I can't stuff all my gear in there. Now, recently my best friend purchased for Christmas for me a new pouch or a different pouch that Jason Hunt offers at Campcraft Outfitters. And it fits a need that I'm gonna to talk to you about now. This is the accessory tote. It's got two big robust loops on the side. It's got that same hardy zipper down the top. It's big enough to fit large gear in like my Baco Laplander, I could even put my entire cook kit in here for me. But the best feature that I like 
is that it's flat on all sides. It can lay on its bottom, it can lay on its side, it can fit in my pack basket down on its gear, but I currently don't have anything that lives in here, and this is why. This has become, as the title of this video shows, the glove compartment for my pack. This rides at the top of my pack. It's the last thing that goes in my pack. So most of my packs are wide enough. This goes there, first aid kit beside of it, or first aid kit on the outside of my pack. And this pouch remains empty until I decide what I'm doing on this trip. This may include things like a shelter. So all of my line kit and all of my stakes and things go up top. My small bits of bank line, my ridge hooks that I 3D print and make for myself. Things like that can all live in here. This becomes a task specific glove compartment. When I get in camp, it becomes that place where all of my gear goes. A spare pair of socks, because it is water resistant. Uh, extra flashlights, spare batteries, medications that I might need in the night, say I'm sick or headache or something like that. This becomes my camp compartment. This becomes my glove compartment for my pack. When I'm working on the trail and I hang my pack, this can have any gear that's task specific. So if I'm filming, this can become my camera bag. If I'm fishing, my fishing kit can go in here. If I'm eating lunch, I can carry my lunch in here. It's really that idea of having a flexible pouch that I can fold flat, roll up, put somewhere in my bag until I need it. I love having a glove compartment, if you will, for my bag. I thought I'd share that little tip with you guys, give you a quick look at some of these great pouches that Jason Hunt produces over at Camp Craft Outdoors. I'll put the link down in the description below. Check him out. It's a great positively visioned school. It's a great place to go and learn. It's a great place to have fellowship. Guys, I'm Brett Burns with The Prepared Man. I'll be back with another video soon using some of my new gear, looking at some of my new tips and tricks for basic camping, and really talking about the winter months from the outdoor and woodsman's perspective. Guys, stay safe, get out there, and be prepared.